So you might be interested in the blasters package and I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, first of all what it is and what it looks like and also uh, if you need help uh, you can use this video to understand a little bit about how to locate and use the files. So uh, basically um, when you purchase uh, the blasters sound effects package <clears throat> you have the option of uh, buying either the small, the medium or the large version and the small is only uh, about 9 megs in size so it'll be a quick download but it only contains 42 blaster sounds and a few round robin uh, cycle sound effects I'll explain what that is <clears throat> in a second uh, and basically this one is probably more suitable the small one if you are looking for the demo project and getting some of the, uh, the blaster logic because uh, it's including some automatic magic scripts and uh, so I'll show you what that is uh, the medium package uh, contains 1600 unique blaster sounds uh, <clears throat> and uh, so it's about 114 megabytes in size uh, and the large one uh, contains the same 1600 uh, unique sounds but it also contains four versions uh, so-called round robin round robin uh, versions of uh, each blaster sound and what those are used for is uh, when you repeat the uh, sound effect rapidly in succession after one another then uh, it becomes a little bit of a so I think it's called like a machine gun effect uh, it just goes up 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 and they sound exact exactly the same all the time so it sounds a bit artificial so with a large pack you'll get to the ability to cycle between four different sounds that are slightly different from one another and uh, that one's uh, uh, 615 megabytes in size so it's a really quite a big download uh, I'll import the large one and uh, I'll explain to you what the differences are. So you'll find that it takes a bit of time to decompress it <clears throat> and you want to import everything. So I've just got a blank Unity project here and I'm using 5.5 uh, for this uh, demo. <clears throat> So first thing you'll find when it's imported, uh, so it's all everything's located under the blaster folder, and there are a, there's a demo folder, a documentation folder, and a sound effects folder. And if you're after the sound effects, uh, they're located in the sound effects folder. And rather than including um, all 8,000 sound effects, if you bought the large one, or 1,600 if you bought the the medium one. <clears throat> uh, rather than having them in the hierarchy or in the project folder here. Uh, I've opted to go for zip files because um, Unity, when when you have a large number of WAV files or WAV files, uh, Unity takes quite a long time to go. Th it'll scan through all the files, uh, analyze them, and uh, every time you switch a build platform, it'll recompress all the audio files. So that could take half an hour, hour, <laughs> or even longer on some PCs, maybe a couple of hours. Uh, so it's not really a, a good approach. Um, so I thought. For this time, uh, I was going to use uh, zip files, and most operating systems will support this. So, if you there's a little uh, text file included here as well to say that basically the sounds are in these zip files. So, the one time single shot file is the 1600 unique sound effects that you get with the medium and the large package. And th this, fo uh, this one is a larger zip file, it's the four times round robin. So every sound, every sound effect is included twice, uh, sorry, four times with slight variations. Uh, I've uh, combined uh, blaster sounds a little bit in this one and also altered the pitch slightly and altered uh, some of the frequencies. So it'll uh, be a little bit different every time. So when you want to use the sound effects, uh, this video will focus on, on how to access the files and I'll do another video for the actual uh, demo content of the blasters. So to access the files, uh, I recommend uh, you could, uh, there's multiple ways you could do it. Either you can show it in Explorer and it'll give you access to the zip file. And then uh, in Windows, for example, I'll right click on it and I'll do extract all. And then I wanna pick a folder of my choice. So I'll create a new folder, for example, on my E drive called just uh, blaster sounds <clears throat> and it'll go through to uncompress them all it takes a little bit of time here so it's roughly 1600 items uh, and once that is done they will all be located in the new folder here and 
all the sound effects are sorted into a folder structure so you'll have short sound effects um, these are less than 200 milliseconds so 0.2 seconds in length uh, so for really quick short blasters you might want to create a game where you have a rapid succession of uh, like a top-down shooter where you just need a really fast small sound uh, medium sounds are uh, 200 milliseconds to I think 600 or 800 milliseconds long sounds are uh, from the medium range and up to about 1.2 seconds and then you have very long blaster sounds which are over 1.2 seconds uh, and then there's another folder called pre-charge it's got a little bit of build up effect before the sounds um, and also within each folder you'll find if I go into uh, the long here for example uh, the sound effects the long sound effects here are sorted into a number of folders so quiet uh, they're obviously not so loud <laughs> quiet sounds of, uh, of that nature uh, so here are some examples if I don't like and then you have average uh, volume so they're a bit louder <clears throat> and uh, also you have louder sounds so this is the overall volume of the blaster sound itself if you're uh, so use this folder structure to locate if you want uh, the, du the duration that you want and also the loudness of the sound so here are louder sounds uh, also you see that so that they're named uh, <clears throat> uh, so the blaster and then long loud and then the next uh, naming uh, convention in the naming convention is uh, the frequency so if it's high for example there's a lot of high frequency in the sound as you can hear if you have high mid it's uh, not as high uh, it's a little bit more maybe punch or bass to it and then there's low for example that's uh, mostly low frequencies if you want bassy sounds and then you have uh, a few more alter alternatives like low mid frequencies and then uh, mid okay and that goes for all the folders you'll have uh, all of those different options high high mid mid low and low mid frequency ranges and then you have the very loud sounds as well and finally you have a muffled folder and that's <clears throat> maybe you want some uh, sometimes in cinematic fights or in uh, you'll have just like a, a muffled sound effect where you just want to have <clears throat> like a big space battle it might be too busy if you want uh, a lot of high frequency sound so these might you just have some uh, if, you, if you need that there there anyway and uh, I suggest that when you locate sounds, instead of having all the WAV files, like I said, in the Unity project, I suggest that you uh, use your uh, operating system. And I use um, AIMP, which is an MP3 player or an audio player. You can probably use anything that's built into uh, your operating system as well. So I recommend that you keep the, fi the files somewhere else on your hard drive instead of your Unity project. And then whenever you need these sounds, uh, you don't have to import this project all the time. You can just go into the folder if you want a medium loud sound, for example. And then you drag and drop that into your project. And then it'll be there. So this will save you probably a lot of time. Uh, and uh, you won't repeat all of these sounds in every Unity project that you need to use them for. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, how to locate the files and you would do the same for uh, for this one if you purchase the large pack you would uncompress this one separately as well into a folder structure and then drag and drop sounds into uh, this uh, into your game projects as you need them <clears throat> okay and uh, maybe i should also mention that if you bought the small version uh, then basically uh, none of these two zip files are here uh, and you probably are would be interested in the small version if you only want to get access to um, the demo and the turret uh, and the blaster sort of uh, logic and, and game scripts if you saw the demo and you thought oh I could make use out of uh, how those turret works um, and it'll save me some development time uh, plus you also get uh, the demo sounds so there's 42 there are 42 uh, blaster sounds and then a couple of the round robin versions 
um, <clears throat> that you could use. Uh, so that obviously you can use those uh, if, if you bought the small package. And uh, just to finish off this video to get an idea, uh, the first time you import it, you'll see that it was dark, but it'll uh, it needs to bake this uh, the lighting, so it'll pop uh, into color uh, shortly after. So when you press play, for example, here, you can try to play around with this. Use the scroll wheel, for example, and some different uh, buttons to. And then you can use the scroll wheel then to change the sound. So what you get as well, um, if you buy any of the pack, the small, medium, or large, you get uh, these different demo scenes that, are, um, and you know the prefab for for this turret. You get the logic for how the blasters. If you look when I fire, it has sort of a recoil effect, and that's built into the into the script for easy use as well. Uh, and you get the different uh, prefabs for the bullets and different type of. Uh, just color um, and particle system effects and you also get these explosions uh, if that's something that you need um, and then there are some other demo scenes as well so this one crossfire for example shows that uh, I've, I've basically just duplicated the turret and uh, the logic will still work uh, the same and uh, basically if I were to copy a different turret again This tower and that object, Control D to duplicate it, and then I just want to have it right next to me. Let's make two of them. So, and then uh, I'll just quickly go through. Uh, this is the round robin demo as well. Uh, as you can hear now, if, when I press play, <clears throat> if I, uh, down at the bottom here, you'll see which sound effect is playing. So you'll see that that rotates through now when I fire and see if you can hear the difference. If I press shift now, you'll hear a more repetitive sound. And then when I release shift now, it'll enable the round robin circulation again. sound as well. We'll use the scroll wheel and then try again. So here's with the round robin. Here's without the round robin. Holding shift in. And then I release uh, shift now to play the round robin again as you can see below. And then the final one. Let's do another one as well here. This is with the round robin, and then I press shift now, and then I release shift again to enable round robin. Okay, so if you want to be able to use that for all the different blaster sounds, if you want to have the option to do the round robin, you want to go for the large pack that includes the 6400 uh, files uh, of all the different variations. Um, yeah, I think that should cover it for this video and uh, in the next one I will do a video where I demonstrate how to uh, use the blaster uh, prefabs and how to fabricate your own blasters uh, based on, on the different logic scripts here. So I'll see you in that video. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>